Good day guys. I thought we would do something a little bit different for this one. I've been doing a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 custom zombie playthroughs, which is something that um, you know I really enjoy myself. I'm a huge zombies fan. But on the flip side, I'm also a bit of a Star Wars nut as well. Um, my actual office, my setup is surrounded by Star Wars memorabilia, you name it. Um, I've posted a lot of um, classic Battlefront gameplay on my channel already but I haven't done anything with any commentary so I thought what we'll do I'm just gonna play through maybe two or three of my favorite maps and just talk about the game the significance of the game the sort of impact it had on myself or at least my my memories and and how I think the game stands up to today's standards um, I've played the newer Battlefront games uh, other Star Wars titles as well Fallen Order so you know, it's I'm I'm not an expert, but I am a Star Wars fan. It's as it's as simple as that. So it's just me jumping back onto the game and you know having a bit of a chat while I play. Um, for me, I always used to play this on. It makes me feel so old saying this, but I always used to play this Battlefront on PlayStation Two. Um, still have it on PS2 as a matter of fact um, but the PC port is a significant version of the game it, it, it's got graphical improvements there's even different maps on the PC version and first person views as well which is pretty cool um, so yeah it, it's it's been an absolute treat to be able to sort of re-download this game on a different con a more modernized console and, and be able to relive the experience and to be honest it, it's exactly as I remember it when I was a kid I mean my brother and I um, we used to boot up on a, on a Saturday morning and we would play through mostly Clone Wars maps I'll be honest um, I'm sure many of you can relate but we used to boot up the Battle of Geonosis and we'd be on the same team we'd play as phase one clone troopers and we would just be happy as days I mean to us it was it was uh, at the da at the time you know very long time ago granted when the game came out it was like cinematic like we were we were on the front lines there were vehicles you, I mean, if you're watching this, you're one of two people. You you know what this game is, and you're probably nodding your head in agreement already. Yep, these games are awesome. Or you've never heard of these games. And you're watching this, or maybe you found my other playlist, and you've looked through some gameplay, and you're thinking, wow, okay, um, this is cool. You know, it's old, but it's cool, and it does stand the test of time. The new Battlefront games were really cool, but they just... Something was missing, and that was the big... That was the big drama with the Battlefront 2 release and even the 2015 Battlefront as well. But anyway, without uh, any more dawdling, I, I'll jump in now. Multiplayer, it's, uh, to my knowledge, is as dead as anything at the moment. There's no one playing. It's it's not that kind of game anymore. Um, might be able to do private match. I'm not 100% sure. But this game was never about that anyway. I mean, this game was effectively... You put together a list of battles that you want to participate in. Um, you can randomize it, pick different factions. It was... I, I might get some flack for saying it, but there is an element of Battlefield in it. In a sense that there's different classes, different roles that you play. It is an open world, sort of. Like it's a... Um, it's a... An arena style shooter, I suppose. Because there's bases to capture. The same as Battlefield. Um, some maps are bigger than others, some have vehicles. Um, those of you who know the game, you're probably thinking, yeah, yeah, I know this, let's jump in. But So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. I'm just putting together my favourite maps and the relevant factions as well. And then we will play through them. Um, so I'll just have a quick look and I will jump straight in do want to do Hoff as well. We'll play through these in order. That way we're taking in turns with the factions as well. And I think we're starting pretty strong there uh, with Geonosis or Geonosis Spire. This map was, apart from the lack of some sort of sandstorm, this map was the map that made you feel like you were in the movies. I mean, it was just... It was nuts. Master Windu has joined the battle. Destroy the Techno Union ships. Count Dooku has joined the battle. Count Dooku has joined the battle. Well, I managed to deal with him in the last uh, 
last time I played this. We're just going to hold on and let the AI do the piloting. Hopefully they don't crash us into a mountain or something. Look at that. I mean, just look at this. Now imagine being, well, apart from whatever that wonky flying was. Imagine being... Oh, I'm just eating my words right now. I was going to say, imagine being 10 years old and just getting this game and just being absolutely blown away. We absolutely got railed just then, though. Someone someone just took us out with a, an anti-air missile, I think. I'm not sure. But look at this. I mean, you got the ATTEs, you got the Hellfire droids. There's droidicas everywhere. Yeah, I, honestly, this game was ahead of its time. I, I know that this is a PC port, so it does look better. But, you know, the, the recipe's there. All the ingredients are on the table. It's... It's, it was ahead of its time. Oh, we are getting absolutely stomped, and I see a Sith Lord. Where is, uh, where's Mace Windu? Oh, is it Mace Windu? I don't know if we, uh, if we're having much of a good start here. We might go for a flank. Now, one thing this game, uh, I guess a pain point. I, I'm all about equality when I talk about games I used to play. It's not always all good, you know. This isn't the perfect game. Um, the, the lack of a sprint button can definitely... Definitely make things a bit of a drag sometimes when you're in open areas like this. We've lost the command post. Um, you know, you, you do spend a lot of time what feels like walking around. I have no grenades. Uh, we better get in there. Oh, that's a teammate. Sorry, sir. For the Republic. There's just so many droidicas dotted around. What is going on? But then again, that, that makes you wonder, if you were building a droid army, would you even bother building battle droids? Wouldn't you just build an army of droidicas? You'd be unstoppable. If the technology's there, why not just do that? Anyway. I oh, need to get his shield down. It's not looking good. Hey, we got him. Perseverance pays off. And we got shot in the back. But that's okay. Let's change it up. Uh, let's... Ooh, bases are not looking too good. What's going on over here, mate? Get out of here. He's parked his ship over here and he's trying to destroy our base. Which is really uncool. But we are going to take it. And we're going to use it. Do a bit of a strafe on him. Get wrecked, mate. Didn't even see it coming. So on this map, those who don't know, the Republic Army, us, the Cloney Boys, are tasked with destroying the Techno Union ships before they take off. And I'm not sure if they actually do take off, I don't think, no, they don't from memory. Um, and we have to escort our tanks all the way around the map, like this, so that they are in line of sight and can open fire. If you lose the tanks, they respawn, and it is an absolute... Oh, no. The best laid plans. That was terrible. I was going to try and get in that, but... The AI knew what I wanted, and... He denied me. Um, yeah, if you lose the tanks... I don't know what they're doing, actually. I should probably go help them. Uh, it can take a really long time to actually get them back in the fight, so... It's definitely important that you help the AI out as much as possible. Whoa, what was that? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, so I guess they turned around to take out the spider droid. That's cool. Alright, let's get in there. Let's take over. These things are absolute units, so the ATT is. I think that's what they're called. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I believe I'm right, but... It's just so many variations. But like, yeah, when I when I was young playing this, I mean, we were just fully immersed. You know, we would go from playing this on a Saturday, nice warm Australian Saturday, to watching Attack of Clones or Revenge of the Sith or something. Oh, it was just it was a it was a great a great uh, memory of my childhood. This, and I'm sure many of you agree. In fact. I'm fairly sure the last video I posted of this map ended up getting over six, seven thousand views. Um, 
and so many people were just in, in unanimous agreement that this game held such a, a, a firm place in their heart. So it is awesome. Um, I, I was thinking that you know I posted pretty much one one video of gameplay from every map in this game and the sequel. I might do the same, but with some commentary as well, because uh, maybe not all of them, but maybe the core maps like this one. Just you know talking about what we're doing this is the first of that if that becomes a series or if that becomes something i'm focusing on then this is this is this one will mark the first video of that mate get sniped all right let's get out of the tank so similar to battlefield games you know you've you've got your tickets as well so your team's tickets we got 121 to 158 capture more bases um to reduce your ticket bleed out and it's, uh, it, it can be quite unforgiving actually, as you can see we are losing, but some of the maps are stacked, the odds are stacked against you by default, it, it just always is, uh, it's to match the scenario of whatever happened in a movie, so the clones are attacking, the droids are defending, so the droids start with more bases, and you get the similar setup with Hoff as well, with the uh, Empire, so not an even playing field on all of them. They're sort of like scenarios, some of these maps. Some of them are just clean cut 50-50, but some are more like scenarios that play out. So This is just one of those movie moment maps, I guess. Excuse me, sir. Yep. I think we're turning this around pretty well here. Let's get on the turret. Now I can't look down. That's Dooku. Oh, yeah. I could never make sense of these turrets. They feel terrible. Look at that. That's not doing anything. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure if you can actually kill. Oh, damn, son! That's all right. I'll take his ammo. We got to take that guy out. Yep, easy. Oh, bit of health there. Health and ammo drops, just like uh, your other sort of map-based shooters. And um, I'm sure you notice as well, the game has full first and third person on the fly sort of switching as well. I don't think you could switch on the fly in the PlayStation 2 version. I think you actually had to go, you had to pause the game. Hey, there's a, what's his name? Mace Windu. I know his name. Should we run him over? Yeah. Oh no, he's all good. <laughs> Should we run him over? Uh, you can steal enemy vehicles. You know, like, it was it was back when games were meant to be fun, you know, there was no, oh, you, the, the new Battlefront 2, or it's not new now, but Battlefront 2 of late, you know, in order to get a hero, people were queuing up, it was just, it wasn't fun, like, it, it's a great game, I've got so many hundreds of hours on it, but there were some things that just didn't work, or didn't capture the same enjoyment value, and... This is, this is back when games just wanted to be fun. That's all they cared about. There was no deluxe edition, no map packs, none of that rubbish. Here's the game. This is how you play it. Do you want to play with your mates? Do you want to play on your own? Have fun. That's all, that's all that mattered. We're just cruising around running people over. Oh, okay, so the droids are actually trying to destroy our base. We should probably clear them off. If you didn't religiously play as the... Oh, I just gave him that tank. Oh, no. What was I thinking? Um, if you didn't religiously play as the clone troopers when you played this, there was something seriously wrong with you. I know that sounds narrow-minded, but the t at the stage that this game came out, Attack of the Clones was... It, it was all the craze. I mean, and it, and it hasn't laid, let off since. Uh, clone troopers are superior in most ways. People worship the uh, the law surrounding them. Ooh, let's get a get an early shot on him, and he shields up. Great. It is a good thing these guys are not too accurate from range. Come on, shield. Oh, all right. I just uh, jinxed that. Oh, and then he rolls up. That's typical. Oh, good. Let's um, let's let's come in as this guy. Ooh. Hey, you get quick scoped. Well, not even quick scoped. Sorry, no scoped. Nice. That's a lot of tricks, mate. 
Woohoo! And there's a shot of Mace Windu there, who I saw him do absolutely nothing in that fight. So I'm starting to question the Jedi Order, to be honest with you. Although, actually, Mace Windu went 26 to 0, and he captured one base. So, good to see him. Count Dooku did actually die. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Sucks to be him. It looks like every time the map loads in, you get a quick, a quick peek of my uh, wallpaper there, my my cyberpunk edge runners wallpaper. Um, all right, here we go. We are now playing on Tatooine Dune C as the Imperials, and we are going to we're going to go straight for the Tie Fighter. I played this map on the channel before as well, without commentary and. Um, had a bit of an accident in a TIE Fighter. Um, I tried to, well, I did. I landed on one of these uh, stone pillars in the middle, and don't know why, when I tried to get out of my ship, it kicked me out, and I landed, and, well, I fell and died effectively. It was quite tragic. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check it out. It's pretty sad. But it's all right, because we're versing bots, so it's not embarrassing. It's only embarrassing until I post it online like I've done, so... It is a shame this game doesn't have any multiplayer support anymore because it, it really did work well. It was just good old casual fun. I mean, look at this. Like, this is... If that isn't spawn killing, I don't know what is. Imperials and the Republic. Hey, look Skywalker. Good to see you, mate. Some of the maps um, have their own n native sort of factions. So, like, you had the Geonosians working with the Separatists on that last map. But on this one, we've got Tusken Raiders. And the cool thing is, they're not... They're not... Uh, they have no allegiance to either of the factions. So... They'll actually fight against both. It's like a third team, and you can see them on a the map. They're the yellow, the yellow bases. So, I've I've been in a match before where it was actually just the Imperials and the uh, Tusken Raiders left. So it was really cool. Um, but either way, you just shoot anyone who shoots at you and hope for the, hope for the best. Ooh, ooh, okay. Here he is, old Vader. Let's give Vader some backup. Get rid of... Oh, and we crashed into... Someone who killed me, apparently. That's okay. Um, who do we want to come in as? What do we reckon? Let's do this. Let's, let's do some anti-tank. Uh, can we get a speeder bike, maybe? No. Our reinforcements are being depleted. No. Oh, look at that. Signed and delivered. I think I just ran a teammate over accidentally. Rep, rep. Oh, the motion blur on that, though. <laughs> oh, we're drifting. Oh, that, that, that makes, makes you feel pretty unwell. That's a grenade. Oh, lovely. That's okay. Let's, um... What is going on over here? Come on, we got him. Yeah, we got him. Oh, we lost an ATST. That's unfortunate. Didn't even get out of, uh, get out of our base. Shooting over here. There's a tank. Ooh, not good. Let's come up behind the Tuscans. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough, and it gets everywhere. Just 
thought you should know that. Oh dear. Man, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to clear your. Oh god. Hang on, I think I. Don't I have. Go away, space wizard. Oh no. Oh, what, what was I doing? Look at him in all his glory. Wow. Oh, what have I done? I didn't realize this was that base. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Oh, that was too close. Right, I killed a teammate. That's good. Go back to Kashyyyk, mate. Whoa. Oh, hey, mate. Thank you for the ammo. So it's pretty cool that the AI actually do that as well. They, they'll they give you ammo, they'll give you health if your health's low. Like the right class will do it, obviously, not, not anyone. Um, they'll go snipers, will go prone, take up high positions. It's really clever stuff. For, for a, a game that's as old as it is, it had a really good job of drawing you in and making you feel like it wasn't just a an aimless piece shooter. I mean, I've played Call of Duties against bots, like, you know, like multiplayer, just as a practice, and they just feel so bland. Like, they just walk down, they see you, they shoot, you know. This is different. This is... This is almost like a... It's a bit more fluid, more cinematic. They nailed it, honestly. Oh, he walked into that shot. No, don't take the tank out. Tank his friend. Vader, my man. Yes, that was a clean victory. No debate. Um, nothing needs to be said about that. We just essentially, the Empire rocked up. We killed some some petty rebels and decided to wipe out the local the locals as well. And now we're just gonna, I don't know, turn it into a, I don't know, battle station or something. I don't know what the Imperials are up to at the moment, but. That's, that would be my guess. But yeah, we, uh, we're now going to Kashyyyk, which was another map that was revisited in the new Battlefront 2. Um, I think the only good thing... Of, well, no, that's rude. The main improvement with the new games is, uh, is the aesthetics. I mean, they're beautiful games. And we are playing as the droids, which is cool. So let's... Um, Sniper and a sniper. Lots of Wookiees on this one too. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. Thank you. Droids get lots of tanks on this one, so. Like this one. I've actually got a model of one of these and uh, part of the Star Wars Legion's uh, tabletop board game. And uh, yeah, these are awesome. He was going for that turret, 100% he was going for the turret. So, yeah, as you can see, we are absolutely massacring them. For some reason, both of our spider droids decided that they wanted to go down the same side. Get the uh, explosive shot in there and destroy their supplies. Get rid of. Oh. Hold her steady, mate. Oh, never mind. Oh, 
Uh, probably not ideal to do this as a sniper, but... Let's go, boys. Oh, that's unlucky. We're in. I don't think anyone else made it up. Why did I shoot him? What was I thinking? Oh, he's not coming, is he? Let's capture that. That way we're getting reinforcements. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's deal with this Jedi. I can deal with this Jedi Knight myself. I don't know. It's not even a quote. but Here he comes. Here he comes. He's angry. And I blow myself up. And, a, and that was helpful because of a reason I can't think of. There was a plan there, I swear, but anyway. Let's come in on a step. Nice. We're stuck. There we go. There we go. Let's go. I remember these being quicker. But you can strafe as well, so. Alright. Don't bother with the step. The uh, speeder. Uh, assault droid, that sounds like a good time. So it looks like he's just parked his tank over here and he's just left it. We're going to go take it. Oh no, he's just sitting in it. Maybe he can't get up the hill. Silly AI. You got to turn it, mate. It's like getting a lowered car over a, over a dip, mate. You just got to go over at an angle. You'll be fine. Okay. These things are very strong. You've just got to make sure you're angling it right when you're getting in a fight. You don't want to, you know, if you if you get the rear of the tank exposed to the enemy, then not ideal at all. But I think we got him on the run, to be honest. Um, we should have that base over there. Actually, let's focus our firepower over there. Oh, okay. What? There's a turret in there? Yeah, I'll take another tank. We got so many tanks as the Separatists on this map, it's... one thing he cannot do in the turret 
and it's focused on both the front and back at the same time. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. Okay, no worries. Fair call. Alright. a three point turn to get up this oh quickly 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 oh. you're in trouble now boys you wait till my little legs get to the top of this Alright, I think we might have him. Where were you, Dooku? I have, that's the first time I've seen you this whole match. So, two guys left, both of that main base. Just up here. Oh, alright. See, the thing with the tickets is they don't seem to include the, like the Wookiees or the Geonosians. Geonosians, sorry. They're um, explicitly like the main troops, the the five classes that are playable as that particular faction. So the four clone or five clone trooper classes. Absolutely smashed it, Dooku. That's that's not good enough. Ten kills. Sorry, mate. That's uh, supposed to be a, a Sith Lord. Did better than Mace Windu though, who clearly got stuck on something. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, pretty cool, and I think we're wrapping up with the map Hoth, which is another scenario style map like the first that we played, Geonosis. So this one, you know, similar to that one, you can see one of the teams has a lot more bases, they've got something to defend, so not the Techno Union ships obviously, this, this is the, sh the uh, shield generators, so the rebels are going to defend that, and we are going to try and make their life hell. So, let's get in one of these, Lord Vader. It's a pretty good map for sniping, actually. I had no idea whether my depth was right on it. Where is he? No! Stop it! Don't do it! Hey, we got him! Nice! Long live the Empire! Come on! He's gonna now I've got another one on me! God, they want me gone! went under him a couple a little bit all right he's coming around here he comes and oh that's annoying I think he's got one more pass I hope he's got one more pass yes it's actually pretty nerve-wracking that because at any given moment you you could just die once he finishes what he needs to do Darth Vader's going a 
shock and awe over there. He's going to clear out that bunker. I might take out some turrets. We can just about see the shield generator. I can just see it over there. That's it there. Well. Get rid of those. Turrets are starting to fire. Luckily, they are pretty much a one-shot kill. You just got to find them. Almost there. Just keep lighting them up. Trying to take turrets out as we go. Not sure what the plan is with these Tauntauns. They just sort of ride at you. They ride to their death like honorable samurai. It's a good way to die. It was a good death. Lots of speeders zooming around. Get one in the get one in the window. Hey, just in time for old mate. All right, there it is. Let's open fire. Doesn't take a lot to put this thing down. You just got to keep pumping shots into it. We must destroy the shield generator. I'm trying. I'm trying to destroy it. Luke Skywalker's going on an absolute streak, apparently, according to the kill feed. Vader's going to go smack the uh, shield generator of his lightsaber, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure what his plan is. It looks like he actually is. Alright, mate. You do you, mate. You do you. All that, all that Sith Lord training's coming in handy. Cool. Shield generator done. I always like to get the AT-80 right up to their front door now because the uh, snow speeders will keep spawning in if you don't. But yeah, we've got a decent lead on them. We've completed... There you go, look, more, more speeders. Um, decent lead on them. Completed the destruction of, uh, objective. I'm not actually sure if you really need to do the uh, objective. Like, does it doesn't contribute to tickets you don't get anything for doing it so I'm wondering if it's just like a, just persuading you to go in a certain direction I guess uh, I guess it, it gives the AI a target and forces them to head in a particular direction which causes oh all right we found a front line in there maybe or don't go in there oh. wow I got blasted out the window yeah that's a that's a messy well we haven't really got many bases though He used to get on top of those and just chill. But we'll focus on the objective. So this is the Dark Trooper. Um, not really sure where else he's appeared in any Star Wars material. I don't think he has. Oh, Luke's there. Uh, focus on the objective. Let's get out of here. Get massacred, mate. Hmm. All 
good, all good. I think yeah, you can't beat a standard snow trooper. Uh oh. Uh oh. Luke, go away. No, no one likes you, mate. Is he gonna just follow me now, isn't he? Oh, he is. Oh, that's not good. Run away! Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, alright, alright. No, you. Uh, okay. You never take me alive. Yeah. Look at him go. God. He just, um. He wasn't even gonna kill me. He was just trying to. It's just a scare tactic. What the? What's your plan, mate? Weirdo, weird Wookiees getting up to mischief on our home base for some reason. Yeah, that was weird. They must have run the whole way on those and. So it's a big map, this one. Um, there's quite a bit of open space. There's Vader. I think we've got them. We I think we've got them beat. I don't think they can come back from this. Get in, mate. Just keep shooting in there because that's clearly where they are. Stop blowing holes in my ship. We need healing. We need we need an engineer. Hmm. Oh, it's Luke. Let's throw him around a bit. I'll teach you. I'll teach you for not giving into the dark side of the force. Yeah, light him up. Light him up. I want every gun to fire on that man. Let's keep him on the ground. What are they feeding these Jedi men? Victory is imminent. Victory is imminent. That's exactly what I like to hear. Dude just got in the way. Ooh, Vader with the multi-kill. Absolute unit. Oh, here we go. We're just, we're just massacring the last of their troops now. Oh, do a flip. And there you have it. We, uh, we've wiped out the rebel scum. Butchered Luke Skywalker at the same time. And oh, damn, look at Vader though. This is why they call him the GOAT though. 40 to nil. That's, um. Yeah, that's the chosen one right there. Very cool. So, yeah, awesome game. I mean, um. You know, not perfect, but I'm only saying that to cover myself because I typically give a lot of praise to these games. Um. Uh, Battlefront 2, I know a lot of people Battlefront 2 was the preferable one um, I like this one, this is just one that I grew up with, Battlefront 2 is awesome as well don't get me wrong, uh, some of the maps there some of the, uh, for me just some of the classes just didn't work for me like the uh, the minigun guy for the clones, I forget what he is, he's like a specialist uh, a couple of those didn't quite work for me but, you know it, it's an awesome game um, I might call it there I'm gonna run through some other maps in the future I might do some some of the 501st um, campaign and just have a bit of a chat while we go through that one so stay tuned for more of this I'm also gonna be working on more custom zombie stuff as well that's currently in the works at the, at the same time
So, yeah, don't forget to like and sub and chuck a comment on whether it's about this game or any other games. If there's a game that you grew up with that you might want to see, or if you could recommend one, definitely do that as well. Um, but, yeah, until the next time, guys, like I said, like and sub and have an awesome weekend. Ciao.